Hello everyone, this is Daniel. Hope you're doing well. In this video, I'm going to be unboxing the Lenovo ThinkPad. Let's see, this is the P73 mobile workstation. This is definitely a high-end work machine. Let's go ahead and take a look at it. First, we'll do an unboxing, and then I'll have another review video. So, we have the um, box sealed, which looks like tamper-evident tape. Let's go ahead and um, get that open. I'm a little bit nervous. This is an expensive machine. Um, let's go ahead and see this, that what opens the box. All right. Let's see how they pack this here. All right, looks like the charger is might be off to the side. Um, careful. Okay, whoa, this one's heavy. Okay. Wow, okay, so I was expecting it to be in a box, but let's see here. Here's the laptop. Let's see in the packaging. Um, looks like we have some warranty information, so safety and warranty guide. Um, all right, the other packaging. All right, let's go ahead and um, get the charger. Yeah. All right, so yeah, this thing is a beast of a break. This is the charger. Let's go ahead and um, take a quick look at the back. Um, you can always freeze frame that. So I was expecting it to have um, flashy consumer packaging, but obviously that isn't the case. I've never been in contact with a work laptop before. Uh, 230 watt charger. So this has the Xeon processor and the um, work graphics cards. So not particularly the gaming graphics cards, but the cards that are used for um, SolidWorks and Maya and all the Autodesk applications and um, that type of high-end actual um, professional work. So let's go ahead and take a look at the laptop. Let's open it up here out of its bag. So they do have tamper-evident tape here, but it should just slide open, I think. All right. Here it is. All right, so let's go ahead and take a look at the laptop here. First, we'll take a look at the ports on the sides. So we have what looks like a um, headphone jack, USB super speed port, um, SD reader, USB-C um, port, Ethernet port. And on the back, we have super speed um, USB port. We have an HDMI port. We have two USB-C ports. Um, we have the, looks like the power adapter port, and we'll take a look at the left side of the laptop. We have another USB super speed port, which I'm assuming all of these are USB 3, and it also has a charger indicator, which means that one probably puts out, instead of just 1 amp, 2.4 amps at least. I'm not positive on that. And we have the Windows um, certificate on the bottom, and let's see, what else do we have? Let's go ahead and open it up and look inside. So the inside of the laptop. So this is a 17 inch model and the touchpad is biased to the left side a little bit. We have color calibrated Intel Xeon. Okay, that's pretty sweet. We have a nice finish here. Um, ThinkPad keyboard, which is always nice. Um, let's go ahead and see if it comes with a factory charge at all. And it looks like it does not, so I'm going to go ahead and pause the video and get the specs. So now that we've unboxed it here, let's go ahead and take a look at the specs and the inside of the machine. So one thing you'll notice is that the, let me switch over to zoomed view, is there is a way to hide the webcam. It's not really showing up, but there's a little latch here um, that you can move to either block the, red, the webcam or to activate the webcam and it has a little red indicator when the webcam is blocked and let's go ahead and look at the laptop so it has the classic ThinkPad mouse in the middle that you can control so you can type and use your mouse at the same time um, it has a lot of buttons on the okay yes yeah, so this is the mouse buttons if you're using the finger wheel and then you have the buttons for the mouse pad um, it has a fingerprint sensor um, 
All right, so let's go ahead and take a look at the results on a benchmark. This does have the trusted platform module, TPM. It has Windows 10 Pro um, designed for the Xenon. It also has a one terabyte Samsung NVMe PCIe that I'll show in the user benchmarks here. It has two NVMe PCIe slots and it has a 2.5 inch hard drive bay that is um, empty by default stock. So the user benchmarks on this machine is a um, UFO, UFO and aircraft carrier. So let's go ahead and take a look. Um, it has the Intel Xeon E2276M processor. Intel. It also has the NVIDIA whoops, Quadro RTX 5000 graphics cards with 16 gigabytes of um, RAM It uh, for the graphics card and the RAM on the laptop is starts out stock 32 gigabytes of RAM, 2,666 megahertz and it's ECC server RAM, um, air correcting memory. It also has four slots for RAM that can be upgraded up to 128 gigabytes and it starts by only having two RAM slots um, that are filled so you have two more you can fill just out of stock. Um, it has the Samsung um, NVMe drive here. Um, let's see. It also has a backlit keyboard that you can turn up or down. Um, the processor is obviously Xeon and 6 core. Um, that's the unboxing and quick overview of the specs. I will also do a review video probably um, in a day or two. Um, thanks for watching. I hope this helps. If you have any questions, go ahead and leave them below and I'll respond.